Okay, so you're out searching for a solar panel and you've got all these people talking about 12 volt panels and 24 volt panels and then you start looking at the panel specs and you're like, nothing on here matches 12 volt or 24 volt. What does that even mean? Let me tell you, you don't have to match your panel voltage to your battery voltage and I'll tell you why. So right here we've got a 330 watt panel. This is a panel that would typically be used on the roof of someone's house, like a residential grid tie install generates power though you could use it in an off-grid situation right who cares it's 330 watts so now you've got all these numbers with the the voltage open circuit voltage max power short circuit current what does all that mean if you were in the, the olden days right and you wanted a solar panel to charge your 24 volt battery say and you have a pwm charge controller which would be appropriate 15, 20 years ago when MPPT charge controllers were not very popular uh, and were certainly expensive if you could get a hold of them, right? You would want to match your VMP to the max voltage of your battery because with a 20 and, and with a 24 volt battery, you're talking about a max voltage and bulk charging of 29.4 volts. That would be your bulk charging rate typically. Some batteries are a little bit different, but somewhere around 29 volts. So you're looking for a panel of VMP around 29 volts. That would make this, it's 30, almost 33 volts, but that would make this a 24 volt panel. And you could connect this up to a PWM charge controller, it would work fairly well. And since it's matched well, the efficiency would be there. VOC is gonna be more applicable when you're looking at MPPT charge controllers. VMP is gonna be more for your PWMs. Let's talk about MPPT. When you're looking at an MPPT charge controller, the thing you wanna watch out for, uh, the, the big thing you wanna watch out for is how much voltage you're feeding that from the solar panel. You don't wanna burn up the charge controller. As an example, the Palmister solar charge controller that I've got can handle up to 80 volts when you're running a 12 volt battery. When you're running a 24 volt battery, that bumps up a little bit. I think, I think it's 120. Y'all can go look at the specs yourself, but it's, it's higher than 80 volts. So while two of these in series would be 80.6 volts or so, you wouldn't wanna do that on a 12 volt battery. On a 24 volt battery, you could. Most charge controllers have a different VOC panel rating depending upon the battery voltage that you're running. So you need to watch out for those two and parallel or series your panels appropriately. Now, a lot of charge controllers will also say for maximum efficiency, you should use X voltage. And usually that's gonna be, even if it can do 80 volts input for a 12 volt battery, they're gonna want you to do more like uh, 40 to 50 volts. That way you're still around the VMP, but not have to be right at it. Um, something with the VMP, this is 32.91. As the sun heats up this panel, that VMP drops. And if you're on a PWM charge controller and your VMP drops below the voltage of your battery, that means you're losing out on power compared to an MPPT. That's how I understand it anyway. Let me show you a 48 volt panel. Did you know that existed? So hopefully that clears up some things about 12 versus 24 volt panels. So with a 24 volt panel, you're gonna be looking at an open circuit voltage, 37, 40 volts, somewhere in there. With a 12 volt panel, you're looking at like 18 to 22 volts open circuit. We just got some of these in and these are sun power panels, 435 watts a piece. And you'll notice that, you may notice that there are a lot of cells on here. They're actually a little bit smaller than what you would typically see on a 60 cell or a 72 cell panel. There's 128 cells and these are all in series as opposed to being uh, half the panel is in series and the other half, like a lot of split cell panels are nowadays. So you've got 128 in series, which means the voltage of this panel, the open circuit voltage is 85.6 which makes the VMP about 72 volts, which I said 48 volt panel, that's a little high for a 48 volt panel because really you'd want a VMP around 60, 65 volts, and this is like 72. So not perfect for a 48 volt, but as, as I was saying earlier, that whole voltage of panel to match your, match your battery really isn't much of a thing anymore. For some more content around shopping for and sizing solar products with each other, check out the playlist above.